In this biome, we're looking at the temperate rainforest. So now we are in the temperate climate zone where it does not get as cold as a boreal forest or the tundra, and it's not as warm as, let's say, a tropical environment. So in green, you can see that on the west coast of North America, we have some temperate rainforest and scattered throughout there, some parts of South America, scattered throughout parts of Europe, also Asia and Australia and New Zealand. But they're kind of scattered around. There's not as many of these temperate rainforests. Because again, they're temperate, so they're gonna have pretty moderate temperatures from 41 degrees Fahrenheit up until 68 degrees Fahrenheit. But because like their name says, they are a rainforest. They're not a tropical rainforest because the temperatures are not as warm in the tropical environment. However, they do receive a lot of rain, anywhere between 59 inches and 137 inches of rain. And so here is a climatograph for Vancouver, Washington, which is in a temperate rainforest eco, um, sorry, biome. So again, here on this y-axis on the right, we have uh, precipitation, kind of flipped than the other ones we've looked at, in millimeters and inches. And on the other y-axis, now we have Fahrenheit and Celsius of temperature, but again, with our months converted to numbers on the x. So if we look at the temperature trend, you see that on the first y-axis, it gets kind of moderate in temperature. It's not very cold, not very hot either. And then we look at these bars that are measuring the precipitation levels. You can see they're pretty high, 175 millimeters here in December. Um, so you can see in the winter months, they receive a lot of rain. And so there are a bunch of different types of trees that live in these kinds of forests. We also have coniferous trees here, fir, spruce, and those gigantic redwood trees. Many plants will have very deep roots in order to be able to access the deep groundwater and kind of hold those large trees in place. Some plants are actually epiphytes. Epi means outside surface and phyte is referring to a plant. So these are plants that are going to be growing attached to other plants. So they're not parasites, um, but they are going to be living attached to other plants. So we had a lot of like vines that you'll see kind of wrapping around trees. And these trees will also have really thick bark. <clears throat> so here are some images of different types of trees and other plant life you can see in these temperate rainforests. So these are those gigantic redwoods. You can only see a fraction of the size. Very lush, very green, lots of productivity. So here's some animals that live in temperate rainforests. We have the spotted owl. We have a good old banana slug you see here on the bottom. Deer, bears, salamanders, like in their little creeks and rivers. Many will have thick fur because it can get cool enough here for them needing thick fur. Some will be hibernating during those winter months and also migrating as well. All right, those are temperate rainforests.